Chief with us right now, the uh, Polish ambassador to the United States, uh, Marek Radzegowski. Um, ambassador, thank you for taking the time. I know that a lot thank of... Thank you very much for having me. No, thank you. I know a lot of Ukrainian soldiers will be going to Poland to get up to speed on, on these tanks. Uh, you were generous enough to offer the Ukrainians. How long do you think that process takes? Um, the one thing I'm sure of and uh, I can say is that the Ukrainians should be supplied with all the means and all the weaponry they need to defeat the Russian aggressor on the Ukrainian soil. And this is the right moment for us, for the West, for the coalition formed um, months ago in order to aid the Ukrainians uh, uh, to repel the Russian invasion, to demonstrate resolve and determination and our willingness to deliver uh, all um, kinds of weapons to Ukraine that are necessary to make this uh, military effort of our neighbors effective. I, I understand, Ambassador, both the, the President Zelensky as well as President Biden plan trips to your country later this month. I don't know whether they'll be there together, but what can you tell us? I don't know either. I, uh, the only thing I know is that the date has not been set yet. Preparations are ongoing. And I do believe that uh, this upcoming possible visit of President Biden to our country is a, a proof of our credibility and our uh, ever-growing role in this new geopolitical configuration. Poland has become a pivotal country, not only in terms of humanitarian assistance, but also uh, in terms of our uh, military assistance to Ukraine. And I believe that this is um, it, it's about time to elevate Poland to the role played and enjoyed by other American allies like Japan and South Korea and Asia or Israel in the Middle East. Poland's role has become absolutely crucial in this new confrontation with the Russian threat. And I do believe that uh, uh, this could be one of the topics of the co uh, potential conversations in Warsaw between our presidents. Do you know anything, and, and President Zelensky has mentioned this, Ambassador, of a major Russian offensive? I, I only say with the backdrop now, we've heard of Vladimir Putin recruiting still more, tens of thousands of more soldiers for this effort. I'm not, uh, to, to, to be frank, I'm not uh, terribly optimistic about the duration of this war, uh, because I think we are going to face um, protracted conflict in the months to come. Uh, my impression is that we tended to uh, overestimate Russia's military might before the invasion began, and now we tend to underestimate it. I believe that, uh, unfortunately, President Putin can still flood Ukraine and the front lines in that country with manpower or cannon fodder, if you will. The Russian army and the Russian society are remarkably resilient, um, unfortunately much more resilient than we are, uh, I mean the West or the pro-Ukrainian coalition. And that's why, uh, as I said, I'm not uh, very optimistic about the duration, although I am quite optimistic about the, the final outcome of this war. And of course, I keep my fingers crossed, as um, I believe an overwhelming majority of my uh, fellow countrymen, for Ukraine to uh, eventually win. Well, your people certainly stand out, sir, to put it mildly. But, uh, you know, uh, between your offer and, and for tanks and training Ukrainians on these tanks, and our own uh, with Abrams tanks that are coming, as you know, Vladimir Putin has termed that crossing a big red line. What do you think he meant by that? There is fear of escalation in some uh, Western countries, and we have already heard uh, such voices coming from some European capitals. But I do believe that uh, it's Mr. Putin who constantly escalates this conflict. We do not escalate. Uh, our only priority is to help Ukrainians defend themselves. Uh, this is not about escalation. This is about some uh, verbal threats we have to cope with, of course. But we should not stop now. If we don't stop Putin now, he will return with a vengeance and we will pay a much uh, heftier price in 10, 15 or even 20 years in another confrontation with Russia. Thank you, Ambassador Marek Madrowski, the Polish ambassador to the United Thank you very much. States. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.